This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2006 Ford F-250 Crew Cab Long Bed. It's a 6 turbo diesel. It's a four-wheel drive. And it's a King Ranch, which is the uh, saddle leather seats. It has 125,000 miles. It is on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Please uh, watch a little three-minute animated video that we have. It tells you how you get a salvage title when there's no crash or flood or fire or any kind of damage uh, of that sort. Um, it was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in LA area, um, which is always a good thing in LA, California in general. They don't really <laughs> let you go off road. Um, so these vehicles usually just had a bunch of parts stolen off of them. Uh, in this vehicle's case, uh, they stole the King Ranch seats and they stole the wheels. Obviously, we found a, a set of used uh, King Ranch wheels and tires and a used interior. Uh, the only thing we don't have is the center console. You can pick up one of those for probably 130, eh, between 50 and 130 bucks uh, aftermarket from uh, auto parts store. But finding them broken from a set at King Ranch is almost impossible. Uh, you'll drive yourself crazy for lo looking for one. And a lot of people take them out anyway so their kids or dogs can pass through. So, anyway, I'm going to walk around. I'm going to show you what's happening here. Right here on the fender. Driver front tire looks like it's probably 30 or 40% tread. Front of the truck looks great. Hardly any rock chips. Actually, I don't really see any. Another indication it never saw gravel or dirt. You can see uh, no rock chips on a uh, truck. Passenger front tire looks like, just like the front tire, probably 30 or 40 percent tread, maybe a little more, maybe 50 percent. Definitely not in need of tires in the front anytime soon. Could use a little touch up paint, a little white touch up paint. There's a little nick there and one here. Bed side looks good. I had a little something fell out of the bed here and did that to it. Again, this is all minor stuff, but it's my job to point this stuff out. I would say the passenger tire or the passenger rear tire is probably 20% tread. That's a loud bird. See that thing? Jeez. Uh, parking sensors. Parking sensors do, are inoperative because we're missing this one. We never repair or replace parking sensors or tire monitors because they're just annoying and they're expensive and they break after you fix them. So we don't do it. But if you wanted to do it, that would be where you would start. And the parking sensors are $120 from Ford. And that's the only place you can get them. And if you buy them used, they sell you a whole string for 600 It's ridiculous. So, what you'll find a lot of times is you'll put that parking sensor in, the one that was missing there, someone probably stole it for their truck, and then you'll put it in and you'll find out that you just spent 120 bucks on an electrical part that's not returnable, and it still doesn't work. And then you're going to be really angry. That's why we don't do it. So, turn around and use your rear view mirror, because uh, I think we used to do that um, before we have parking sensors. This uh, driver rear tire is not in good shape. You might want to trade that uh, spare for this one and then you'll be a lot better off. Nick here. Couple up here. Mm -hmm. This looks like some glue on there. Yeah, that looks like that's coming off. Anyway, it's a pretty good looking truck, given the miles, and I think if you spent uh, 10 minutes with the, the correct shade of white from Ford, don't get them from an aftermarket parts store because it won't match, you would improve it 100%. Six hundred ninety-three miles. Open up the hood. 
What we're looking for here are forged stamps on both fenders and on the front of both sides of the core support. That would indicate that there's been, never been any parts replaced, thus no crash damage. There's your forged stamp right, right there is the forged stamp. New battery on this side. There's your forged stamp between my thumb and finger. There's your catalytic converse uh, stickers where they belong. Right there is the uh, forged stamp on that side. There's the forged stamp right there. Perfect under the hood. There's your driver rear window up and down. Like I said, uh, they stole the seats out of this thing. So these are replacement seats we bought used. Uh, I strongly urge people to, uh, once they take delivery of these things, to get some saddle uh, cleaner, saddle soap, and conditioner. Um, it generally changes the color of that, those seats, a couple shades darker, and they'll last forever. These things feel real soft. The back seat feels great. I think I saw that the driver's armrest on the driver's seat needs to either be treated or have a seat cover put on it, a little slip on. Get your passenger front window, door locks. That's on, on, off, on, off, forward, back, up, down, rear tilt forward, rear tilt down, front tilt up, front tilt down. Like I said, these things could use a good scrubbing. The detail shop doesn't ever do that. Uh, they just clean them and vacuum them. Uh, but uh, this seat, armrest is not too worn. This one's a little crusty. Um, they generally clean up with uh, some saddle soap and some conditioner quite a bit. But the armrest, I, uh, you can buy a little slip-on sheepskins or actually ranch type slip on covers that'll make them look a lot better for like 30 bucks a piece. There's your mirrors out and in and up and down. Other side out, in, up, down. All right, let's see. It's hard to see in this light. That's on, that's off. Let's see. Seat back, seat forward, pull seat up, pull seat down, front seat cushion up, front seat cushion down, rear seat cushion up, rear seat cushion down, you have adjustable pedals right here. That's up. That's down. Tilt wheel up and down. That works fine. Again, these things haven't been treated or anything. They've just been basically vacuumed and dusted off. But you can kind of tell what that looks like. It's not going to poke through anytime soon. But I would probably, I would probably just buy those little slip-on armrest covers for King Ranches and not bother going through the effort trying to get that smoother when you can just slip a cover on it. All right, I'm in the truck, seat belts on. Let's see, turn the radio on, let's see if the controls are working. Well, it draft beers from nine to That's from the steering wheel. Let me change the station. All right, so the steering wheel controls work. That works, there's a six disc changer. 
Let's see, we have air conditioning. There's that. Manually it works. Let's see if it works from the steering wheel. And it does. Let's turn the change the temperature from the steering wheel. That works fine. That's all the trailer stuff. Let's go through the uh, there's systems check. It's been running for I don't know. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and it's about 95 right now. There you go. All right, let's see, we got tow haul, on and off. Let's see that going there. Off, on, there you go. Let's see, rear sliding window. Moonroof. Let's see, what else we got going on here? Let me get my seat a little higher. I'm feeling short today. All right, it's got a steering wheel cover. I'm not really sure why, other than the guy didn't wanna, I don't see any tears in the steering wheel, so it actually looks really good. So I think you could probably take that off and have no problem. Um, let's see, like I said, the parking sensors will not work because we know we're missing one and we're not replacing it. My guys tell me, I actually read the report on this truck um, that we did rear brake pads also. There's your uh, four low, I'm in drive. And reverse in four low. That's definitely four low. Let's put it in neutral. Back to four high. Now we're in four high. Drive. That's four high for sure. And reverse. It's a nice truck. Nice, nice truck. All right, neutral. Back to two wheel. All right. Anyway, uh, I guess if you're going to come to Tucson, I would probably have us uh, move the spare to the driver rear. Um, the rest of the tires are okay enough for probably another three or four thousand miles, uh, but that driver rear needs to be moved. This is the center console. We did do rear brake pads. They were below 10%. Um, and we did one battery. Replaced the interior with another used uh, King Ranch interior, the seats at least. All right, if you come to Tucson, you're gonna pay tax, stocks, dock fees, and before you can get plates and insurance, you have to have the title restored. We charge $200 to take it to motor vehicles, get a level three inspection, um, which gets us uh, to a restored salvage title when you can get plates and insurance. That's $200. Um, you have to do that if you're gonna drive it home. Okay, so that's $200. There's a $250 dock fee, and there's taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is 3%, your deal will look as follows. It'll be 5% tax, your three plus R2, $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship, no dock fee, no taxes, nothing. Um, but I still strongly urge you to pay us the $200. We'll have the title restored and we'll mail it out to you and you'll be done when you get when it gets to uh, your city, all right? Please get your deposit in. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. And we'll put your name and a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com and you'll know it's yours. Um, what else? Uh, the uh, engineers at Ford, like every other company, set a mile and a number of miles and a year for their warranty this is well past both of them uh, they know more than we know uh, we're just the dummies who you know take the risk that uh, insulate you from disaster uh, we own this we don't own the Ford plant in Dearborn okay they know more than us so if they say that this is all they can warranty X amount of miles and X amount of years then they know more so please uh, understand that we don't know what's going to happen to this thing a month from now, okay? Or a week from now. Uh, Ford didn't, neither do we. So, there's a little bit of risk. If you're not ready to take on a little bit of risk, 
with a ton of money saved, then please don't buy. But if you are, this is a great buy. Thank you.